Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine, and today we're talking about bandsaw fundamentals. Let's get started. Bandsaws are tremendously versatile tools, and in my opinion, they may be the second most important tool in my workshop. That's because in addition to cutting curves, they can do much, much more. Bandsaws cut much differently than table saws or handheld circular saws. Rather than a rotating blade, bandsaw blades are made from flexible metal. The blade is powered by a drive wheel and kept in alignment by both an idler wheel and blade guides or thrust bearings. There are a few types of guides on the market. All of this means that the blade cuts in a downward motion, directing the force transferred to the wood being cut straight down, meaning no kickback is possible, even if the blade binds up. How tight a curve you can cut depends on the width of the bandsaw blade. Here, with this quarter inch saw blade, I can cut down to about a three quarters of an inch radius. Check out the chart to learn more about this function of the saw blades. Cutting curves comes in handy for so many woodworking tasks, from making a bandsaw box, to cutting a cabriole type leg, or forming curved frames, and much, much more. A task that some people don't associate with bandsaws is ripping wood. That's understandable because most people think of that as a table saw technique. However, if you're ripping cupped, twisted, or otherwise distorted wood, a bandsaw is the way to go. Distorted lumber on a table saw can bind up and even cause a kickback. With a bandsaw, that is not a worry. A modified form of rip cutting on the bandsaw is resawing. Think of it as cutting a board or ripping a board in two the skinny way. There are many reasons to resaw stock, but one of them is to create book matched panels. The matching grain pattern can really be lovely. The last thing I want to talk to you about is the importance of bandsaws to wood turners. Wood turners often make bowls or spindles from green wood and they often cut those blanks out of actual tree logs. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Cutting blanks from a log is easy to do on the bandsaw. With the aid of a jig, you cross cut the log. Then you complete the process by slicing that log segment in two. And now you have two bowl blanks. There's obviously much more that could be said about bandsaws as that was just a quick overview. And there are accessories that can enhance its use. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a couple of things. Thanks for watching.